choosers. But as you can see, it's going to be good. So, when I saw the whole 5K power boost on the front side, I was like, I'm going to essentially use relatively the same strategy as the hit deck. The only thing was is that you know, I did want to incorporate some, you know, you know, incorporate Gogeta in the deck, not just the leader, so that's why I decided I wanted to try out a Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta. And since he's red and green, I try splashing some red and green into the deck. So, let's go through the deck with, obviously, the leader, one of, and then we got four trunks power over scene time, four SSP Gogeta, four chain attack trunks, four sister attack Saiyan Khalifa, four Mox B Kaioken Goku, four Vegeta the Cruel, four Combo Strike Sun Gohan, four Bodyguard Electric, four Further Destruction Champa, four East Supreme Kai, four After Image Technique, four Planet M2, and two Super Saiyan 3 Go Tanks, one card win condition. Alright. So because he is multicolored, and even Combo Strike Sun Gohan is multicolored, Vegeta the Cruel and Mox B Kaioken Son Goku will cost uh, two when you have any one of these in your energy area. So, not much to say in the deck. There's no big, huge combo that I have. Normally I have, you know, big combos. Um, I'll talk, let's talk about the leader first. Again, when you have five or less life, you can awaken. So, you obviously want to tap your energies to play something, you know. You know, like chain attack trunks, for example. You use chain attack trunks to bring out sister attack, saying Khalifa. So that's one basic combo in the deck. Use her effect, take a life, then make her 20k, and she has double strike. <coughs> Which is really good and very useful. Um, you can, because I was still thinking about it, you can, however, use digging deep. Um, Vegeta instead, because he'll be a 20k, essentially a dual attacker, because you'll attack, then take a life, then stay in him, he'll be 20k, and then you can attack again, and then use, like, Destructive Champa or Hidden Power Supreme Kai to make him a 30k double strike, so you can kind of get three, three damage through in that regards, so I'm still debating about it, but right now I just decided just to make it simple, just go with uh, Khalifa, just, you know, 20k, uh, double strike because I'm already getting an extra attack with uh, chain attacks so he's one damage and then she'll bring in two more damage but with the other strategy I'll sum up you can go up to four damage you know if you use uh, digging deep so that's something you might want to consider if you want to try out digging deep Vegeta instead of Khalifa but for now that's what I'm using Khalifa and I say chain attack play her do some damage uh, because of the fact that you'll, you know, um, you'll awaken to untap an energy, draw a card for us, and then that one energy will be available for you to use Destructed Champa or E Supreme Kai for the double strike play in the other combo I was referring to. But of course, what you'll do in this combo is that you'll obviously use Champa and, and, uh, or E Supreme Kai on Trunks so that way he's double strike. She's double strike, which is what I'm doing in this version. Um, so mathematically, you're still dealing roughly about um, you're dealing roughly about four uh, four damage. So you, the fact that you, in this combo you have two 20k double strikers, while the other one you'll have a 20k single attacker. Then digging deep will only be 15k on the first attack, but then he'll be 20 he'll be a uh, 30k on the second attack, so that's still like the only mathematical differences. It's up to you which, which which way you want if you want the last attack to be like 30k, you know, double strike. You know, that's up to, that's up to you. 
while you have a 20k and a 15k you know, single damage hopefully those two attacks go through right so that we can at least deal four damage potentially but right now we just got the potential of two 20k double strikers that's not even to mention the fact that you can use planet m2 you know for the final attack to weaken your opponent's leader for the final double strike attack right It's up to you. But, oh, yeah, I keep saying he's 20. I meant to say he's 30. He's 30, okay? Obviously, he gets Champa. Um, and this and he's Kai will make him 10k more. So he's 30k. So obviously, you want to attack with her first. Because she's 20k. And then attack with him because he'll be stronger when you do the whole Champa combo. So it's up to you which, which variant you want. But right now, this is the variant we're going with. Then, uh, moving on. Um, because of overseeing empowered uh, trunks, you know, only two energies and four cards in the drop area to overwhelm them, and you use his effect and get something that's overwhelmed back to your hand. You can obviously get back um, anything you comboed with, you know, like a destructive chomp, uh, you know, Supreme Kai and whatnot. It's always good. But you could always get back uh, Super Saiyan um, Blue Gogeta if you want to use his uh, arrival ability. But you got to make sure you combo red and green cards. You know, one red, one green. That way you can pay one red to play this. And it's a 20k double strike. So that's always good. So this is a cheap way of getting a, a 20k double strike on the, on the field. As you can see, there's a good amount of double strikers that we tend to bring out and then we have the ability to give things double strike and then when you awaken you have double strike go tanks mix tokens and give them double strike so there's a lot of double striking even uh power seeing overseeing trunks he has double strike so there's a lot of double strike so it's not going to be that hard to reduce your life points your points life points down to zero cards with this deck Uh, we of course have some counterplay cards, you know, for control elements, give you the ability to go back and forth with your opponent for a bit until you finish them off. This is here mainly because of uh, his dual colors, he's red and green. I had another red card in here, but I was like, damn, there's only eight green targets. I need another green target. But at the same time, I also want to be able to, you know, have a good amount of red. Especially if I'm going to play, you know, gold tanks or uh, chance attack trunks. I want to make sure I have a good amount of red for them. So I was like, alright, well then I'll, use, I'll put in another red or green battle card. And I opted for this one because it's a two drop. I'm always looking for two drops, multicolors, just so I can splash them for, um, for the whole energy thing. Plus they're easy to cast when it's just one one of each color. And then there's uh, cards. They can uh, bring them out because they're two cards. They can bring them out. So there's ways to cheat them into the game, into the play. Like uh, Shenron. Do the Shenron loop stuff. Uh, summon the squad if you have a Shenron leader. You know, things like that. So that's one of the, the main reasons why I look for two costs. Not much else other than Planet M2 obviously is to increase your your power output. So by reducing the power of your opponent's leader by 5k, so that way on the front side they're essentially a 5k uh, leader. You'll become a 15k leader when you attack his leader plus you'll draw a card. And if you use that card you draw the combo, let's say it's a 5k, you'll be 15, uh, you'll be 20 uh, you'll be 20k attacking 5k. So you easily be 15k stronger. So your opponent's going to have to combo a lot more if they don't want to take a hit from him. Um, just the fact that you can attack with him will be 15k. Planet M2. So weaken your opponent to make that a 5k and then do a destructive chompa. So you can become you know, a, a 25k attacker attacking a 
with double strike attacking a 5k leader is very useful. It's going to definitely apply a lot of pressure because then they're going to have to be like, all right, either I'm taking the two hits or I'm not. Now we have to combo hard. Now, of course, if they negate your attack, of course, you'll still draw a card, but you, you won't waste your uh, chomp up, obviously. They didn't get your attack, so you just move on to something else, attack with something else, and give it double strike. More likely a bodyguard electric. That'll be the second potential target for Champa or hidden, hidden power to East Supreme Kai if your leader attack is negated. Another reason why I tend to focus on the leaders attacking, because this is just something I do a lot. That's why when I make decks where I focus heavy on the leader, some people tend to not like the idea of focusing heavy on the leader. They don't see the leader as the, the, the center of a deck. They look at it as just a support, something that you use to make your deck uh, function. But everything in the deck is more important than the leader. I always do the opposite. 